Nice bit of engineering here. This is a 30-note a musical box, would you believe? Where's the box? Well, you'll see in a minute. Something extraordinary. It's a, a DIY one. There's a comb there with 30 different notes in it. Very tuneful. Nice bass. Makes a good noise, too, as I'll demonstrate. The other thing you must have with it, because it's got to make a musical sound, are these strips of paper. Two of them are blank. Those are the ones you're going to find tremendous fun to actually create your own tune on them. But there's already a tune on this one here to help you get started, to encourage you. This is a tune It's going to be called, oh goodness, Swan Lake. Goodness me, you're going to hear a Swan Lake now. Look at the number of little punches on it to do it. So I'll show you how it works by, um, well I'll show you the punching in a minute, but I'm going to show you a box which we just have for demonstration purposes only to act as a sounding board for this piece. And then you'll hear the sound it makes is very accurate and very tuneful too. You follow the arrow and it goes into here into the jaws. Give it a little turn to get it to catch where yeah, it's caught. It makes a little introductory noise and then it plays a well-known tune. Here we go. That's the introduction. Oh my, can you see the ballerinas dancing? It's wonderful. Makes a very, very accurate sound of that piece of Tchaikovsky on the Swan Lake. So it's got across here 15 and 15 at 30 different notes which it plays, including accidentals, incidentally. So it's got a very, very comprehensive range of musical tunes you can adapt to it. And to make the tune, that's one you can't alter, it's finished now, it's, it's done and it'll last for a lifetime. But to do it yourself, which is most of the fun of course, what you need is one of these here, which looks like a stapler, but actually it's a punch. And it punches these tiny little holes, lots and lots of them, on these pieces of paper. So the first thing you need to do, you don't use this, you get your music sheet here and you look where the notes are going to go and you make a little mark with a pencil and it'll take you quite some time to lay it all out. You can have more than one note at a time, as you can see from here, you can have chords where you have three notes sounding at the same time, which makes a very pretty sound of a, of a chord, a major or minor key chord. And then when you finish that, you then have to line it up and spend quite a bit of time punching it very carefully with this punch, and I'll show you how that works. You've got a tiny hole there, and there's a very sharp pin that's going to come through and push its way through the paper and make a neat hole. If I hold it very close to the camera, you can see through the hole, you can see as I'm moving up and down, this is going forward in the music to the next note and the next note and the next bar. This is going to higher notes or lower notes as I move it across. And you will see whether you've made a pencil point for a, for a note, you must push the punch and that one is then fixed for life. And when the whole job's done, well, it'll be done for life. It'll last for a long, long, long time, if not forever. It's a tremendous thing to do, a lot of fun. It does come in a nice little box here to hold it all together, but I think it's something that it's probably best done for the musical members of the family because it takes a lot of musical knowledge to um, get things started. And once you're in the pumping, the, the, the punching stage, anyone could do that, but they must do it accurately. It's got to be done accurately. And it's going to be something I think the whole family will enjoy but specifically, the person who is a musician in your family. So I'll have a lot of fun with this. I had one about 30 years ago. I had such fun with playing with it. I've never forgotten it. I've been back there many times since. So for the musical member of the family, this is a perfect gift.